Okay guys, so welcome to a new video. I'm on the Nuda today. And yeah, first off, uh, I directly want to know from you guys, uh, which bike do you prefer, the Nuda or the KTM? Because uh, they're very different. Uh, yeah, I'm saying that like the new bike is like more exciting to see right now. But uh, in my heart, the Nuda will always stay like Kind of above because it's 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 really really my dream bike like and it has so much emotion that the KTM like cannot offer like it's a hyper naked yes and it has so much more power and aesthetic wise it's very good but the Duda is aesthetic wise really good as well and sound wise it's just insane and power wise like it's more than enough power you don't need more than what the Nuda has, to be honest. Especially if you live in the Netherlands like I do, because like, look here in Amsterdam, you can only drive 30 kilometers an hour. Not uh, that I follow it all the time, but that's just absurd. Look at the sign here. That's just absurd to do like 30 everywhere in the city. Like, cyclists are faster. They're passing us if you're doing 30 the whole time. So it's like the government, they're trying to get the cars out of the city, but I mean, like, to some degree, cars have to be present in the city because, like, some people just need it to get around. Let me know what you think in the comments uh, between the two bikes, which one is better, or if you cannot make a choice, or if you think your bike is better, or another bike that you don't own but you would love to have. Oh, yeah, and as well, I wanted to say that I'm going to try to do more frequent YouTube videos now, so once a week. I don't know, I, before I didn't really have the motivation and now the motivation is up so I'm going to try to do something every week. Let me also know in the comments um, if you have suggestions for a type of videos I could do. Owner's review, I've owned the Nuda now for uh, four years. So I've been going through a lot with this bike and spent a lot of money in, on it. Not only because I crashed but also because I wanted to add aesthetic stuff but there were also some uh, repairs and maintenance that had to be done that I didn't really expect that could have been uh, to do with the bike being from 2013 just normal wear and tear uh, but I don't really know about that for the Nuda um, and yeah it has like almost 60k yeah, almost, yeah, the bike has almost 60,000 kilometers. Oh, it smells like barbecue here. How nice. Probably someone on this route service making barbecue. Very nice. Yeah, so if the sun would be shining and it would be 30 degrees, the Nuda would overheat here, definitely. Because, like, the fan like can handle a bit, but if it's too hot, the Nuda overheats. So that's that's something you have to know about the Nuda. Ah, Rusty Gold Motor Shop, I like them. The dude uh, that owns it is very nice. There's a video of me on uh, Yamaha on his uh, Instagram. You should have a look. It's a nice video. Ah, oh, Cannon Chicken! Okay, now I know where they are. I really like them. They have like very, very good chicken wings. And like this is like a thing I love to order like late at night after a party or at friends and then Oh I saw this car not long ago. This is dope. This is the Lotus. I don't know the exact model, but it looks so sick. And he has the best color as well, the green. Oh and by the way that means that he has like a performance more performance version so it's like pretty expensive already but I love the design he should get dark or black wheels I think because this makes it look like two standards and because all the rest like all the other trims are black for oh, a nice car I like the Lotus the new ones the old ones are meh they should come back to Formula 1 I think that would be dope so this weekend I'm bringing the KTM uh, to get something fixed. It's like the cluster, the button cluster for the cruise control. 
because when I bought it, it didn't work, and so it falls under warranty, so they're gonna fix it for me for free. Yeah, unfortunately it was like that, but the bike was, for the rest, very, very fine, and no troubles or whatever, it was just that, and I think they just missed it, and yeah, maybe not the best service, but I mean, can happen. And uh, as long as they figure it out for me, and it doesn't like really bother me that much. It's just like a pain to bring the bike there. It costs me a lot of time, but yes, sir, please cross, but be careful. Yeah, so the KTM will be fixed, and it won't have the yellow flashing cruise control light anymore. I never understand this. Why pass me? You need a certain distance anyways from the cars in front of you. You cannot go anywhere. It's just like you're not winning anything. Come on, dude. Accelerate a bit. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, let me know in the comments if I should make like a video about uh, where I do like around uh, Amsterdam and I visit uh, so for every video it's like a mini vlog and I ride a bit uh, through Amsterdam arrive at the destination eat the sandwich or the best thing that they offer review it and let you guys know and then get back on the bike and yeah that's it like a daily food review blog mini ish yeah go over to the right just because you indicate doesn't mean that you are free to go is this guy like all his four lights are on or like maybe he's stuck I'll call him out on him why is he breaking Je knippenlichten! Oh, je knippenlichten staan aan! Hey, it was a nice guy. Bro, that was sounded good, bro. Damn. It's like, it's like raw, you know, just the sound. It feels like when you're riding around, you're like leaving behind a trail of peril. This guy went through red, definitely. Right here, like that. Yeah, so look guys. This is the Nuda. For those that are new to the channel, this is the Nuda. And normally it doesn't come like all black, basically all carbon. I put all the carbon aftermarket on. Uh, I think I got every piece. Uh, there's maybe one or two left, but uh, wait, let me think. Yeah, no, I got everything that I could on carbon. Yeah, I'm still looking for air ducts, carbon air ducts, but uh, haven't I found someone that was making them? Wait, let me check the coolant. Uh, coolant is good. Yeah, sorry, got distracted. But uh, you yeah, know, so it's full carbon. Normally, it comes in like red here, and then it goes over into white. Uh, which is re very good looking as well, but uh, I like the full carbon look more. And then I got a rear sprocket from Super Sprocks, and I like to have a few red accents. And actually, the engine top cover is standard in red. The bottom is normally gray, but I had the full engine painted, so everything is black. So it's full black on black. The brake K 
calipers are normally also like silver, grayish, with red Brembo leathers. Got that full black. The forks are black. They were black when I bought the bike, but originally they're not. They're like silver. Yeah, I got the mirrors, the Rizomar mirrors, the Rizomar bar ends, the ASV inventions, brake and clutch levers. Those are like sick. They don't break. They have like, they're made out of something, I don't know what, that they don't break. And then you have the iconic Lee Ovins exhaust. This exhaust was only made for the Skrana Nuda. And so everyone wants this exhaust. Everyone wants to buy it from me, but I'm not selling it because it makes the bike worth just so much more. One piece that is missing actually in carbon fiber is the cover here. The When I bought the bike, it came like this. And yeah, of course, I wasn't able to find a, a new one. So this has to be custom made. And to be honest, I was just a bit lazy in finding one or finding someone that could make a custom one. Oh yeah, and I got the upgraded Motomaster brake rotors, front and back. They look really sick, like flames, you know. And yeah, so this is a Nuda 900R, so it comes with Erlin's forks, front and back. And this one also has the ABS, because you have the Nuda 900, you have the Nuda 900 ABS, and those two are in color combo black and white. Then you have the Nuda 900R, the Nuda 900R ABS, and this is a Nuda 900R ABS, and the 900R always comes in uh, red and white. Yes. And for the Nuda, I always get Pirelli tires. I don't know. I like them. They feel good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And big expense was the titanium headers. These were made from a guy in the UK. Very nice guy. And for those of you that know RJ, uh, the Husqvarna Nuda legend in London, he has the same one. So... He has the forks or the headers from uh, from this guy from the UK, and just the color way he makes is just insane. You can really see the beautiful colors. Yeah, the Nuda really needs to be cleaned. It's yeah, so all the carbon parts. I got them from two different companies. Uh, most of them are from Ilberger Carbon, uh, but one or two or three of them like. The battery uh, protection is from Maxi Carbon. The rest is all uh, Inberger Carbon. Yeah. And then you have uh, Barracuda indicators, Barracuda um, grips, and Rizuma steering with steering risers. And yeah, we have here. The SMP Connect, I've had this one since I bought the bike. That was like one of the first upgrades I got because I go to a lot of places and I love making it easy for me. And with the Rural Helmet, you have the voice in your head or in your ears and you just have to look down when uh, when someone starts talking in your ear. Yeah, okay, so this is the Nuda, guys. I thank you for very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video and yeah so let me know in the comments what you think about the KTM or the Nuda which one is better and what type of videos I should do in the future and yeah so I'll see you then uh, next week again